What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 11, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new beta and this is for the 0.3 update of watchOS 11. As you can see, this is watchOS 11.3 developer beta 3. This update came out a little bit late. Actually, it's about two hours since this update came out and you can see on my Apple Watch Ultra 1, it's exactly 312 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 11.3 beta 1. I didn't update to beta 2 because I didn't see any major changes. Actually kind of glitchy there but yeah I don't know why but maybe it's because I have a screen protector but yeah this is the update size and in terms of other updates that were released alongside this you can see on the Apple developer page Apple also released an update when it comes to tvOS so tvOS 18.3 beta 3 came out but for some reason the Apple developer page is still not updated yet and at the same time you can see this is watchOS 11.3 beta 3 that I'm showing you but the Apple developer page still shows watchOS 11.3 beta 2 so it is delayed but at the same time there is no iOS release so if you're waiting for iOS 18.3 beta 3, then it seems likely that we are not going to be getting this update today. Possibly we could be getting it tomorrow as you know, Apple is on a weekly release cycle with watchOS, tvOS and macOS hopefully as well. But for watchOS, this is the new update. Now I'm just quickly going to update my device and install it. I've downloaded it. So now I'll just install it and then we're going to see what's new. I wish Apple would give us an option to install updates if you have a battery charge that's at least over 60 or 50 percent and above that would be good instead of having to take it off and uh, this is my new bandletic band by the way so let me quickly update my device and then we're gonna see what the update has to offer my device has now been updated to the latest version and you can see if we go into the settings right there and then go to software update we are up to date Yes, and then if we go to the about, you can see the new build number that we have with watchOS 11.3. This is 22S5550A. So it ends with an A, and this is good news in terms of stability because it means that most of the bugs have been washed out and probably we might get a release candidate version or an RC version pretty soon. But let's talk about what watchOS 11.3 has to offer. And to be frank, there is isn't a lot of changes within the OS or that Apple has introduced with this update but recently Apple released some new fitness plus workouts for those that have the fitness plus subscription and you can see right there it's offering a new program for strength pickleball yoga breathe meditation and new collaboration with Strava and these are some of those that you can check out in the fitness app I don't believe my fitness plus subscription is still active uh, actually yeah it's still active but yeah you can check those out and those are also going to work in conjunction with your watch even though those updates aren't exclusively brought over to the Apple watch by watchOS 11.3 those are some of the new things that you can try out in the fitness when you're doing workouts and you know trying to stay in shape and healthy now another change that i wanted to highlight i think this probably was always there on the apple watch calculator application but incremental or repeated operations so for example if i say uh, uh if i go to here and say one plus one just like this you can see equals two and then if i click equals it continues to add a one it's same if i do like five times five you can see 25 and then one 25 it continues to do those incremental operations and that i think was always existing on the apple watch but on the iphone with ios 18.3 it wasn't there and on the mac with the latest mac os version it actually wasn't there and has just recently been bought over and i don't know why such simple things were missing because even the calculator app recently came to the ipad with ipad os 18 but yeah if you i'm not 100 percent certain if this was there but yeah if you let me know whether you had this before updating to watch os 11.3 then that would be great now something else i wanted to show you is 
screenshots that were not synchronizing before so before you would take a screenshot on watchOS 11.2 and they wouldn't synchronize right away to your iPhone in the photos application right there you saw I took two screenshots and yeah these are the two screenshots I took they are synchronizing in real time I believe if I take more screenshots just like this or if I go to like the weather app like this and then take a screenshot and then scroll over just like this it does take a few seconds you can see right there it now shows up so yeah the delay has been improved unlike the previous watch os 11.2 where they would almost not show up at all now another thing that apple has improved when it comes to this update has to do with the camera control on the apple watch so now you can see right there it's connecting whether it's photo or video unlike before where there was an issue with this and i wish apple would give us an option to actually go from photo to video without having to do it manually on your iphone but if i go to video you can see it goes to video but one of the bugs that i saw when i was trying to test this out the other day was if you have your camera opened already like this without opening camera control on your apple watch what happens is um it actually doesn't connect for me for some reason actually here it did connect so let me close this up because i wasn't expecting it to work because before i was having issues with that i opened camera control again and now what i'm gonna do is go to camera control here on the apple watch and then see if it transfers so i think the update the bug that i was experiencing specifically on watch os 11.3 has been fixed and now camera control is carrying over unlike what was there before now if you watch my previous video you know that i was having an issue when it comes to the modular dual watch face which was showing up blank it would show just the watch and the black screen for some reason minimalistic looking screen but it was a bug and that has been resolved with this update i charged my apple watch this morning and i believe it charged all the way to 100 percent and i don't believe i got a notification usually my charge limit is set to like um 80 percent but this is my maximum capacity 89 percent but i don't believe i got the notification when it charged all the way to 100 percent so this is a bug i think that is here but some people are saying they get the notification when their apple watch is fully charged i don't believe i saw the notification but maybe i need to pay close attention to that in terms of ecg and heart rate since i was asked to basically try and show this working you can see when i go to my ecg it's a it's currently working and i've tested this before no problem same with my heart heart rate app right there no problem and the same goes with my uh, bo2 max or the blood oxygen uh, levels right there it's working i can do a test no problem in terms of when this update could be released since we are now on an a build it's possible next week we might get watch os 11.3 release candidate on the 20th of uh, january 2025 and then after that we could be seeing the official release on the week of the 27 if there's no issues with the rc1 release now that's just a quick update for me on this watch os 11.3 it is a small update doesn't have a lot of changes and hopefully when this update comes out officially apple will release more notes to tell us and give us ideas on what they have changed because up until now they've actually been silent and the release notes haven't been updated that often so that's about it for me for now if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace